As part of the NERC funded Southwest Partnership for Environmental and Economic Prosperity, we've been exploring business led solutions to the dramatic decline in pollinator populations. This disturbing global trend is of huge concern as pollinators play a vital role in pollinating the food we eat, maintaining levels of biodiversity and contributing to our economy. Wildflower meadows are one of the rarest habitats in the UK today. Since the 1930s, 97% of them have been lost and flower-rich grassland now only covers a mere 1% of the UK's land area. Along with climate change and the harmful effects of pesticides and disease, this loss of flower-rich habitat as a result of land use change and the intensification of agriculture is one of the main reasons for the dramatic decline in pollinator populations. However, as part of the SWEET project, we've been exploring ways to tackle this issue at scale to benefit the environment, the economy and human health and well-being hand in hand. Led by Dr Grace Twiston Davis and Professor Julia Osborne from the University of Exeter, SWEEP's Policy for Pollinator Impact Project has worked in partnership with Alistair Moore, Head of Gardens and Estates at the Lost Gardens of Heligan in Cornwall. Together they have created a business case for wildflower seed production in Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly that supports local biodiversity, the economy and society. The business case draws on Alistair's experience of establishing a stunning 15-acre annual meadow site that provides not only ample forage for pollinators and a unique attraction boosting visitor well-being, but proven potential to generate £18,000 worth of seed per year. One of the most important things that Sweep brought to the, the project and why it was so important for us to collaborate was really the formal structure of putting together the business case. In a more commercial way, harvesting the wildflower seed as a crop over the past two years has been financially successful. The experience of working with Sweep has just been fantastic. I think fundamentally the project was really all about trying to look at ways to help arrest the decline of pollinators at scale on an agricultural model. And I feel we've really, we've really done that. The Lost Gardens of Heligan Wildflower Project is already inspiring other individuals and businesses to explore opportunities for growing wildflowers as part of a holistic business model for profit people and the planet. The Sweep Policy for Pollinator team has recently created a new social enterprise company called the Wildflower Collective with the aim of continuing this inspiring work. We hope that by showcasing successful business-led solutions to this decline in pollinator populations, we can help extend our work here in the Southwest to other parts of the UK and beyond to benefit business, nature and society. To find out more about our work, please go to the Sweet website, where you can download the Lost Gardens of Heligan business case and case study resources, and find out more about our Wildflower Collective Company.